Good evening, Dr. Phil here. Today we will be discussing on the control of respiration, part 2. This is a graph of minute ventilation versus alveolar oxygen partial pressure. The y-axis shows minute ventilation in liters per minute. The x-axis shows PaO2 in millimeters mercury. There are two curves. At a PaCO2 of 37 mmHg, hypoxic drive is illustrated at this curve, where minute ventilation rises steeply from the relatively constant 6 liters per minute when PaO2 falls below 60 mmHg. The second curve, at a PaCO2 of 75 mmHg, the curve shifts upwards and rightwards in the presence of a coexisting hypercarbia. Thus, the hypoxic ventilatory drive is triggered when PaO2 is higher than that in normal carbia. The next curve is minute ventilation vs alveolar CO2 partial pressure. The y-axis shows minute ventilation the x-axis shows PaCO2. Normal response curve. First, plot a point of normal PaCO2 at 37 mmHg that occurs at normal minute ventilation of 6 liters per minute. As PaCO2 doubles, minute ventilation increases fourfold. Above 75 mmHg, the line falls away representing depression of respiration at very severe hypercarbia. At the lower end of this line, the curve also flattens out and does not reach zero. There is inter-individual variation. Raised threshold curve. This, the slope is altered by disease, drugs and hormonal changes. A second parallel curve to the right represents resetting of the respiratory center where a higher PaCO2 is needed at any stage to achieve the same minute ventilation. This occurs when opioids are administered. Reduced sensitivity. A third curve with a shallower gradient represents reduced sensitivity where a higher PaCO2 is needed to achieve the same increase in minute ventilation. This is also seen in opioids or anesthetic administration. In a situation where PaO2 decreases, the line is shifted up and to the left, leading to a greater increase in minute ventilation. This curve is alveolar CO2 partial pressure versus minute ventilation and shows as minute ventilation doubles, PaCO2 halves. The curve is a rectangular hyperbola. This is a graph showing alveolar oxygen partial pressure versus minute ventilation. The x-axis is minute ventilation in liters per minute and the y-axis is increasing PaO2. There are three curves of different FiO2. First, draw and label the axis. The graph shows the effect of ventilation on PaO2. First, mark a point at normal minute ventilation of 6 liters per minute and normal PaO2 of 100 mmHg. Draw a hyperbolic curve passing through that point and just before flattening out. The curve does not pass through zero as it is not physiological. Large increases in minute ventilation has little effect on PaO2 unless FiO2 is increased. The influence of anesthesia on these mechanisms. Anesthetic agents causes depression of the initial ventilatory response to hypoxia by the peripheral chemoreceptors. Anesthetic agents also depress the response to increases in PaCO2. Hypoxia has a depressant effect on the respiratory center. Opioids affect the central respiratory center by depressing it. Respiratory stimulants such as doxapram and almitrine act at the peripheral carotid chemoreceptors. The mechanism of action is unclear. Doxapram is thought to inhibit potassium channels subfamily 3 and 9. Progesterone is a respiratory stimulant and acts on nuclear receptors in the carotid body and in the brainstem respiratory nuclei. These are my references. Thank you.